Action. Why did you want to join the police force? It's always been an ambition of mine since I was a little boy. I feel I have a calling to protect and serve. Stop, police! Red, White and Blue, which stars John Boyega as Leroy Logan, is the true story of black police officer Leroy Logan, who, having been a successful research scientist at the Royal Free Hospital, decided to join the police force in 1981. I applied to combat negative attitudes. There are divisions and misunderstandings, and I think I could change that. He was a dedicated police officer, though, in fact, he suffered a great deal of racism within the force itself. Leroy Logan is one of the first uh, black police officers in the London Met. He's a massive community man, connects with so many people in his area that he felt like his expertise were, were needed in a job that was more on ground and that directly affects the people around him. Look at you! Oh, Nice said that you joined up, you know, but I thought, no way! He's loving, charming, funny, loves British funk. Go there, Leroy! <laughs> Has a best friend called Lee and lives a big, family-orientated life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing Kenneth Logan, who is the father of our lead protagonist, Leroy Logan. Something horrific happens to his father hey! at the hands of the police, which makes his decision all the more wrought and causes something of a rift between him and his father. You're supposed to take what you learn and show Allah we are different with. You made us feel like we could be a part of everything. You wanted us more British than the British! It's easy to make that decision in 2020, but back then, like, black people had a problem with it, white people had a problem with it. I thought you were cool. What happened to you? It's just important for those stories to be told so that we can stop the ignorance, the erased culture which wants to come in, control the way in which our history was. If this gave people an indication of just how tough it has been and how well we have done, how we have triumphed and continue to triumph, I think that would be a job well done. Some of the benefits that you're experiencing, some of the stability that you're experiencing in this system is based on a bunch of Caribbean people that came onto a boat and helped build it up. And, and this is to put an eye on them and to actually in some way thank them for their input, you know, because they don't get enough, are they enough praise? He's wobbling his head and talking din dip din dip, but, 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 but I can't understand a flipping word. Then those blacks came along, started causing trouble as well, didn't they? Steve McQueen is just the best director I've ever worked with. Child of dream. Steve understands art in a way that I've never ever experienced before. He's bulletproof. There is not one thing he cannot do. Steve is about heart. Steve is about humanity, emotion in its rawest form. He doesn't want you to act, he wants you to be. He seems to just have an understanding of how actors work and a, and a love and respect for actors. Let's go again quickly. He knows everybody's job, he could do any of them. He just happens to be the director and he's in charge and he's like a general leading the army. He just seems to have the knack of knowing what to say at the right time to bring that certain thing out. Are you blocking the highway? No, I'm not. That's a 50 quid fine. You don't see the people coming through? Are you arguing with me? I'm not arguing with you. You just make a mistake. I learn about myself as a Londoner through making these films because obviously we went through all these different parts of London. Exactly, perfect, genius. I got to know understand London through being schlepped around London with my mother, plastic bags of fruit and vegetables and, and chicken and fish in hand through markets. You can stand there playing community liaison or you can piss off and let us do our job. These films are a group of films which are about the, the, the London family in a way. There's an urgency to some of them. There's a tragedy to some of them. There's falling in love in some of them. There's, there's all of those sort of emotions that, that, that sort of happen in, in the city. What you are doing is important. Make it count. Geography has everything to do with the person and everything to do with understanding. It's a physical thing. One can always project on ideas of one's past, but it's actually by this journey of making these five films, I actually got to, understand, I got to know myself again. Something good will come of it.